Yo guys, it's Malifor. Welcome you back to the channel, and we're going to be taking a look at the seasonal events that just got added to this game that I call, that I call, <laughs> this game that I play called Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Um, it's a mobile game, but it's actually pretty fun. Um, so they added this thing called the Master Duelist Invitational. Um... I guess it starts on the 25th, which was, is today, and there's a finals live stream, the 19th through the 20th, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how you qualify. It doesn't really... League. So you have to create a league? I guess you have to create your own tournament, sort of. Um... Let me see. Let me go back to that, uh, really quick. Click on this again. Click on the info. Okay, here we go. So, they will be determined based on rankings. Um... Okay. In top... The top 32 players. In the world? Or... 45,000 gems? Wow. Best partners. 90,000 gems? <laughs> Jeez, dude. That's... Freaking crazy! Oh, dormitory co-op. So I guess you can participate in different game activities for plant care materials. Care for your plant in your dormitory to get amazing rewards. Okay, let's click on the info of this. Uh, growth materials obtained from the dance club, classes, and dueling club are subject to a daily limit. The flesh-eating slug repellent, dragon dung, and germinating potion increase matching attributes by 8, 10, and 12 respectively. Collection rules. Up to four flesh eating slug repellent and dragon dung, as well as up to two germinating potions, can be obtained daily. Um, different materials increase different plant attributes for every hour. The lowest attribute out of insect control, fertiliz fertilization, and that's spelled differently than I'm used to, and germination will be used to calculate. I think that's like a uh, UK kind of spelling. I th that must be the difference. Um, this will be used to calculate its total growth. There are three growth stages, 0 through 30, 31 through 70, and 71 through 150, each with varying attribute requirements and growth rates, 5 or 20 or 30 per hour, respectively. Keep all three attributes high to hasten the growth process. Reward details. These are just, yeah, money boxes. So, seems pretty straightforward. Um, it says, should a student leave the dormitory, the plant's growth will be reset, but the existing growth materials will be retained. Okay, so this is the big update that I was actually going to really make a video about, um, talking about how they are basically ruining their own game. Um, I have not tested this at all, so I'm not really sure, um, how this exactly works yet, but... I heard they changed uh, the Forbidden Forest, and they were, like, getting rid of, you know, the, uh... Pretty much getting rid of the Deathly Dell and the Haunted Hollow, which, to me, made no sense. But, anyways, what I was gonna do in this video today was actually just showcase a deck. And I'm gonna try and get to top 16, but I know I never will. Um, this deck is actually really, really fun. It's... It's a deck that I got from one of these YouTubers. I can't remember the guy's name, but he was pretty dang cool. Um, I want to say it's Oscar Matt. Um, I'm not sure who he's, like, the original creator of this deck. But, I just figured I would mention that name, just in case. Um, how many common wild cards do we have? Like, can I level this up at all? I have one. Wow. But yeah, 
This is like one of my favorite decks to use in the entire game. Um, especially in dual, like duo mode. I don't like single player. I like playing with somebody else. It gives a sense of like, you know, community driven uh, type things that I really do enjoy. Um, come on game. Da, da, da. Da, 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 I like the music a lot too. Alright, so we will do this. Atmosphere charm, like, ruins crap, dude. You kinda have to wait for it to go away. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Avada Kedavra. Who are you using that on, though? Like, what? What even was that, bro? Okay, so they both are, like, disappearing. No! It's like almost impossible to avoid it, man. I was like, he's gonna try and get me, and he got me, you know? It's like crazy when there's so much stuff going on. Um. Oh, that does suck, though. I mean, Max 2 kind of ruins my cards, you know? Um, I do like how it says, like, you know, it tells you how many movement cards you have left. Now, did he take the egg? I think he might have. Or no, no, it is alive, okay. Cool. That really sucks. <laughs> Oh boy. How are we losing though? is crazy. What? 
How was I defeated, though? <laughs> I won, but jeez, those guys were crazy good. <laughs> Ooh, 106. Okay. What does this mean? You can... Raise the limit. Now that's... That would be okay, in my opinion, if this was able to be used with these gems. But since they're specifically making you use gems that you have to pay for, I do not really agree with that. Although, I mean, I guess you could save the uh, gems that you get, the 300 gems that you get when you buy the, uh, the monthly pass, but not everybody even gets that, so... All right, let's do another duel right here, real quick. By the way, I am playing on the PC client, <laughs> client, um, so that might be why it looks uh, way better than the phone version. Um, the game art, I'm actually really, really impressed with. I really, really, um, I really do enjoy. Uh, the art style that they have going for this game. It honestly reminds me of Box Trolls. Um, you may call me crazy for that <laughs> reference, but I really think it looks very similar. Alright, so. Alright, so we're gonna get him. up with a locomotor that's one of my most wanted cards now it's actually the only card i want um oof. atmosphere charm is very very um competitive against this deck I wouldn't say it completely destroys this deck, because I still rely on... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Um... For me, yes, uh, I would say Atmosphere Charm only really, really damages the deck that uses or utilizes, uh, you know, the Norwegian Ridgeback. Which I do, but that's not my, like, winning card, you know? Now these guys are like getting destroyed. The other guys, it was like a, honestly, it was a very fair battle, I would say. Honestly, like, that duel was over way before it even began. <laughs> I like them. Oh, we got some more flesh-eating slug repellent. That's sick. Alright, let's start another one. Right, I'm just gonna pull something up real quick. Do, do, do. While the game's loading. 
Never mind. Not pull it up. I don't know where my phone is either. Oh well. This will be the last duel of the uh, video, but I just wanted to do like an overview of um, one of my favorite decks that I use in duos that I hope that I can plan to bring it to the live stream if I ever get to be that good. You know? That was a very dumb move. Um... So, if you do check on the bottom of his, uh, character, he did have three stacks of, uh, of Ana Kedavra. So he needs one more and then he gets an instant kill. Which is very scary. Um, so now he has an instant kill. And you can also see that with, you know, Voldemort walking around. So that's that's pretty bad. Um, still has it. You know that he's waiting to use it, you know? Did he just kill... I don't even know if they've attacked us, man. Nice. Even though he had Avada Kedavra, we still clutched it out. That's sick. And we were basically both of, like, full health. Are they on a different server? Yep. Always happens. Can I add people from another server? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Well, that's it for this video. If you didn't go on to enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Of course, I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it was awesome to be able to record this. And hopefully I can do like some more Honkai, some more Harry Potter stuff. Uh, just stuff that I enjoy playing when I enjoy playing it. That's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, peace. Wish me luck, guys.